Once upon a time, there was a young man who lived all alone in the mountains. He worked hard, but he was poor. One winter day, when he was on his way home from collecting wood, he heard a strange sound. Curious, the young man went to see what it was. He found a beautiful crane caught in a trap. The young man felt sorry for the crane and released it from the trap. Well, you're gonna be all right. Next time, be a little more careful. The crane made a loud cry as if to answer and flew away high in the sky. A few days later, on a very snowy night, Who could that be on a night like tonight? I'm traveling, and unfortunately I've lost my way. Could you please put me up for the night? My gosh, yes. Come on in, please. Come on in. It's cold. Although he didn't have much, the young man gave the young woman a hot meal. Outside, the snow began to blow, and it continued the next day and the next. In gratitude for having a place to stay, the young woman cooked and cleaned and mended. It was as if a flower had bloomed in this lonely house. The young man thought of how wonderful it would be to have her stay here and live with him. He prayed the snow would never stop. But finally, the snowstorm was over. And on this clear blue day, the young woman said, Please let me be your wife, O oh beloved. Ah, I'm a poor man. I can't give you a good life. I don't care. I just want to be with you. And so they became husband and wife and lived a frugal yet happy life. One day just before the new year, the young man muttered to himself, Now I have a wife. If only we could greet the new year in a little more comfort. The next day, the young woman said to the young man, I want to weave, my love, so please make me a weaving room, would you? The young man obliged and made her a weaving room in the back of the house. As she went into the room, the young woman said to the young man, When I am weaving, you must never peek inside. Promise me, promise me truly. He could hear the sound of her loom behind the door. The young woman kept weaving for three days and nights without leaving the room. As he had promised, the young man did not look into the room. On the morning of the fourth day, the young woman came out of the weaving room and presented the young man with the smooth and beautiful cloth. Take this to the town and sell it. Doing as she asked, the young man took the cloth and went into town. When he displayed the cloth out, people gathered around. Everyone was astonished by the beauty of the cloth, and it sold at once. The young man went home and happily told his wife what had happened. The people crowded all around. It was amazing. The new year arrived. With the money they had made, they were able to eat better than usual and cheerfully welcome in the new year. After a while, 
the young woman went back into the weaving room. Don't peek, okay? Promise me you won't peek. Again, she kept weaving morning and night. On the morning of the fifth day, she finally came out of the room. The cloth was even more beautiful than before, but the young woman looked a bit thinner. In town, a draper who had heard rumors about the cloth came and bought it for a high price. We won't have to worry about money for a while. This is wonderful. It sold for even more than before. Really, your cloth is incredibly popular. Just a few days after that, the draper came to the young man's house. Uh, the king was greatly impressed by that cloth. <clears throat> Next time, I think he says he will pay even more. Please then tell me, how is the cloth woven? You know, I have never seen such beautiful cloth. Even I have never seen it being woven. It's a promise to my wife. Even the husband can't see it. You know, that's very strange. The young man could see the draper's point, but he couldn't break his promise to his wife. So, he refused to show the draper how she wove it. That night, he told his wife about the king's offer. We'll probably be better able to live better than ever. Yes, but I'm tired, and I was hoping to rest from weaving for a while. I think it's okay for just one more time, okay? All right. So she went back into the weaving room. But this time, the sound of the loom sometimes stopped. Come to think of it, she has been looking a bit thin lately. The young man suddenly began to worry about his wife. Then he recalled the words of the draper. Even the husband can't see it. You know, that's very strange. That's right. We're man and wife. It'll be all right just to take a peek. The young woman was not there. It was a crane, weaving its own feathers into cloth. A, a, a crane? Ah! So it's you! I am the crane you saved. I came here to repay you for your kindness. I wanted to see you happy, but now that you know who I really am, I cannot stay any longer. No, no, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. You don't have to weave anymore. Crane, please don't go away. Goodbye. And she was gone. When the young man rushed outside, he saw a crane flying way up in the sky. And the young man was left standing all alone in the snow, looking up at the sky. <laughs>